I've got a friend who's so old, his social security number is seven. He's so old, he remembers when the Dead Sea was sick. Well, I'm so old, I remember when tattoos were taboo. Yeah, back in the day, if you had a tattoo, it was likely a seahorse on one arm and an anchor on the other. And that was okay as long as you'd served in the Navy. Anything beyond that was for beatniks, bikers, and pirates. It was, as David Crosby wrote, letting my freak flag fly. Google it, kids. Tats separated you from polite society and disqualified you from many jobs. And it wasn't that long ago you had to wear long sleeve shirt if you had ink on your arm. The greatest generation were indeed great, but their rules of conformity were onerous and unnecessary. Times have changed and it's for the best. Tats and hair, finally acceptable. About a third of Americans have tattoos slightly more women than men. Costs range from hundreds to thousands of dollars, sometimes many thousands. So I've been thinking about getting some ink, but what would it be and where would it reside? They say if you're thinking of a tattoo, you should imagine what it would look like on your grandma. Yeah, if you're lucky, you're going to be that old someday. Well, I was 22 back in 1977 when the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am was the hot car. There was nothing more cool than that black Trans Am with the eagle on the hood. But times change, styles change, people change. Muhammad Ali said a man who views the world the same at 50 as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. And even though I say, I'm not like most teenagers, I'm in my 60s, well, for now anyway, I now see that massive eagle decal on the hood of the Trans Am as a squawking chicken. Imagine if I'd had that tattooed on my chest when I was 22. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, the cost of a laser tattoo removal can vary from 150 to 600 bucks per treatment, Average $582. I've been practicing Tai Chi for many years, so maybe I'll choose a simple yin-yang. But then I have to decide whether or not it will show. If so, ankle, calf, inside, lower arm, bicep, back, shoulder. Maybe Nordic runes. I will choose the symbols for courage, adventure, and peace. Uh, but again, if they're visible... Everybody I meet's going to want an explanation of the meaning of them, and it will never end. But if they aren't visible, what's the point? I already know I'm courageous, adventurous, and peaceful. My personal choice for most things is unique but not flashy. I appreciate subtlety. Hey, I rarely even wear logoed t-shirts. I'm not going to advertise your brand for nothing. So what's the point? If I put a tattoo where it's visible, I'm sending a message. Why? I don't need to tell everyone who I am. I don't care if you know who I am. But if I put it where it doesn't show, then it's only for me and I already know who I am. I visited a tattoo artist for a price on a tasteful yin-yan, black and white inside arm. I won't say it's expensive, but it wasn't worth it to me. I now have a new appreciation for the passion those with extensive ink have for expression. I do appreciate the art, the fearless manifestation of the self, the commitment. Hey, if you want an ink and eyeball on your forehead or put a bone in your nose, I say go for it. You should follow your passion and be the person you want to be. I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs>